Oh, coming at you from the farm today for a fun project. One of my daughters, my third oldest daughter, Julia, uh, wanted to make a stand and she wanted to do it out of some scrap uh, parts. So our relative's a farrier. Um, he was kind enough to let my Julia have six of his old files and six of his larger, older horseshoes. So the chop saw was uh, first time for her and it was a little difficult for her to figure out, um, but she got better and better at it the more she cut and the more she used it. It wasn't the easiest for her to figure out how to push down on it and hold the trigger. It's a pretty big tool for an 11 year old, but she did really well with it. This is not her first time welding. I started her welding at the age of about 10. She's 11 now, um, but here I'm giving her a 718 stick um, and I've kind of set the machine up for her and uh, she's gonna run some lines and put these levels together, I mean, um, files together level. Obviously, um, getting started is sometimes the trickiest part for these kids. It isn't the easiest to, to get the uh, weld going, but once she gets it going here, she, she does a really good job. Um, obviously, you know, time is in practice is what it takes. I can, I can only show them so much and teach them so much, and I'm not the greatest welder myself. So um, for what it's worth, um, it's farm welding at this point, but she's doing a good job. She's gonna weld this side. It'll uh, bend a little bit, then she's gonna flip it over and weld the other side. Once she's got it all welded together, I'm gonna help her and we're gonna put the uh, six horseshoes on it for the legs. She wanted something strong. She picked out a black um, hammer-based Rust-Oleum paint for it. And I told her I'd certainly help her kind of line things up to keep it straight. Because obviously putting legs on this, when you're using worn out old horseshoes, um, which aren't completely symmetrical, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Even these files, um, they were in pretty rough shape. They've been used a lot. So being that they're a little wore out and they're not sharp certainly makes them a little bit more challenging to get them to lay together right and, you know, look uniform. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of hand filing by her um, to get them, you know, the way she wants. Um, but she did the she did the best she could. I think it I think it actually looks pretty nice all in all. Um, she enjoyed the welding process. She enjoyed putting them together. Um, like I said, she did a, a really nice job. Um, cost, all I've got is the cost of the sticks and a little bit of electricity. Everything else uh, was given to us. Um, she plans on taking this to 4-H and showing it at the local fair this year. You know, as an 11-year-old in the welding, you know, shop area, I don't know if she'll win a state fair trip by any means. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure she can pull a blue off with it because she certainly knows enough about what she's doing with the sticks and the welding. I chose not to let her use the MIG on this, um, even though it's a little easier for her to operate. Because again, the metal isn't, isn't really perfect metal. Um, there's been some rust and some grinding we had to do just to smooth the surfaces to put the files together. And certainly the horseshoes were, were worn, let's just put it nicely. Even here trying to tack weld down the the legs so that she could get them in the right spot and then come back and fully weld them. It was a little bit of a challenge. I'm, I'm trying to help her out and move the stick and, and guide her to where she needs to, to get that spot weld in place. And, um, you know, it's it's a work in progress. As, as a dad, you just kind of jump in and try to help her out. Um, you know, maybe that's the best way projects go is, is as a team. But we got it done. We got, we got them welded on, and uh, they're nice and strong when we got done. Um, it's kind of tough to, to, to give her advice through the helmet, but we were certainly trying our best, that's for sure. Um, once she got, you know, a side up, then it was, it was a lot easier for her to finish the welding on them. She was able to, to get them all welded down real nice. And then she also welded them together. So let alone are the six welded down to the files, they're also welded all together, which gave them a lot more um, strength, especially when you're going to stand on the stool. The stool itself is um, quite heavy, um, but that's okay. It's it's going to be that kind of heavy shop stool, so um, it's what she wanted to make, and uh, it, it's it's looking really good. I don't know where we're going to put the stool. The stool might end up in the goat barn. Certainly might end up here in the shop. But again, with metal legs and stuff, it's it's not a carpet stool. Um, it's just it's just not that kind of stool. I was just steadying her there a little bit to see if I could help her trying to hold these ends in place for her. 
Um, I just put on the big leather gloves and, you know, to try to avoid the sparks. She's actually pretty competent in, in hitting where she wants to hit. Um, I, I, you know, I think that's just a, a blessing for her and, and it certainly makes teaching a lot easier. I sometimes find teaching children is actually easier than teaching adults. Um, they seem to be much more pliable in their learning and much more um, understanding of, of what's going on. Especially when I try and show them different techniques and different ways of, of laying the bead and reaching across to get the weld in place and, and stuff like that. So here we're doing the last side. I know it doesn't look pretty at this point. Uh, she's got the schlag on there. She's got a knock off. She's got, you know, dust and, and debris on there from all the welding. But she does get it cleaned up. I don't have a, a video of her taking the wire brush and brushing it all off and stuff, but because that was kind of, kind of time consuming for her. I think it took her a little over an hour, but um, she got it all done. And uh, then we went out and um, quickly um, threw some black primer on it and then came back about three or four days later and made the thing really shine with the Rust-Oleum hammer paint. Um, I, think, I think she spent um, like six rods on it. That's our only cost. A little bit of a wobble to it as she first gets on it and I realized the legs, you know, again, the horseshoes weren't perfect. So I decided I'd help her out and take the uh, grinder to it a little bit and just, just grind the high spots off a couple of those legs and make it make it more level for her. It's It was kind of tricky to figure out which leg it was, um, but just a little hit or two with the grinder and we were able to kind of figure out what leg it was teetering on and, and get it get it down for her and make it really nice, flat, and strong. Um, this is one of these pieces that last very, 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 very long time on the farm. I, I don't think this stool is, is going anywhere fast, but I did eventually get it uh, leveled up for her with just a few taps of the angle grinder, and then like I said, she put a primer on it here, and then um, once the primer was dry, we turned around and, and hit it with a Rust-Oleum hammer paint. When you're painting with the hammer paint, it's a little bit more of a challenging uh, rattle can or spray paint to put down because you can't go over it quite as much. Um, but Julie here has, has worked at spray painting on several 4-H projects over the last several years. And she's really getting down kind of the feathering technique. Um, she's pretty good at spritzing it. She gets a little close with the can, but that's um, a habit that, you know, breaks with age. I've, I've learned that with my older daughters. Um, but spray painting is kind of fun for them. Um, biggest thing is obviously do it in a well-ventilated area, no wind, and certainly no other equipment around it because um, they'll lay some dust down, if you know what I mean. I think um, when it comes to these project ideas, um, I think a good place to start is just looking at pictures on Pinterest. Sometimes, um, you know, different types of art stuff and that shows up on the Facebook feeds. Um, they give us the ideas for things like this, folks. These aren't always our ideas. Um, we'll see something where somebody built a stool out of horseshoes and then, of course, we'll try to duplicate that as, as best we can. I know it looks a little rough um, with the welding beads on the top, but Julia liked the look. I kind of wanted to show off her skills, so we left it that way. The hammer paint um, really did fit the project well. Um, the file pieces are um, a little bit more dulled because of the paint, but definitely still grippy when you stand on it. it turned out really nice. So this is the final project. It's all painted up. Um, obviously, it's rougher on the inside than the outside, um, but it really looks nice. Um, it's something for her to be proud of that she made when she was 11 years old. Um, I think she'll really enjoy it. We'll take it to the county fair in July, and uh, hopefully it'll pop off a blue ribbon for her. Thanks for watching, folks, as we do another project here on the farm, one that has some value to us and certainly some skill and value to Julia. Thanks.